Hi, my name is Tina Le Bondi and I am here today with Gasonji. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Tina. So we are going to speak about her first times. And our first question was, yeah. what was the first when was the first time that you realized that you wanted to be a singer? When I was young, like uh, four or five, I used to sing uh, some Bob Marley song, you know. And when I grow up, I I realized inside that I want to do something artistic, you know. I didn't know that it's gonna be a singer or a painting or you no. Know? But I begin with the, to dance. Mm -hmm. And I was a dancer. I danced with many many people in France. And after that, I realized that I want to wrote, to wrote a song, okay. and begin like write write wrote in the Just, song. Yeah, and after I, yeah, I sing my own song. Amazing. So, were you writing for people or no? For me, it okay. was like uh, so when I I, I I wrote about feel. I wrote about feel my feeling, mm -hmm. and after that, I sing my own song. I see. So, tell us about the first time you performed on stage. <laughs> I think the first time I performed it was horrible. I was like, I was 14 and everybody pulled me. Oh no! Oh, I'm telling you, no, go back home. I was like, and it was amazing because I stayed there crying and I said I want to finish my song. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> Where was that? It was in France. I. I don't remember. It was a big, a big stage, and oh everybody God. pulled me. With reason, because I, I seem like you know, it was not, it was not, <laughs> it was too bad. <laughs> I want to be honest. It was too bad, and Did I was recording for that. No. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, that's a little bit sad, but. I want to make it. It's an it was experience. Funny. Yeah. Yes, it's okay, let's talk about your first boyfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> you my need to tell us about where it was. Where? And where is he now, if you know. Oh no. <laughs> because honestly, I didn't remember my first one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. Maybe it was not fantastic. And um, how. I don't remember him. Sorry for him. Oh my god. <laughs> so okay. So I'm guessing you maybe it was not your first kiss because you usually remember your first kiss. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. So do you remember your first kiss? Yeah, I remember my first kiss. It was with a dancer. Okay. Yeah. And one of your like, dancers or one of a dancer who uh, walk with me. Okay. And I think I was like uh, scary, you know. You, were, uh, you know when you <laughs> <laughs> your lips do that <laughs> tremble. Yeah, oh my tremble. god! Okay. <laughs> I think it's, it was not a good a good souvenir. Really? <laughs> okay, so not the best memory then. Yeah. I see. Okay, let's move on to your first job. My you first remember that? Job, yeah, I remember. It was when I was uh, 16. Okay. And I was, I, it was on summer. It was in France? Or? Yeah, it was in France okay. and I was cashier in the shop. In the shop? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for two months, you know, and uh, it was so like good. a summer shop? Yeah, like a okay. summer job. Amazing. Um, so let's go back to the, the songwriting. Yeah. So do you remember the first song you wrote in Lingala? And if you can sing a little bit for us. Um, ah, the first song I wrote, Lingala. Mm -hmm. I didn't write very good because Lingala, uh, I, I don't uh, speak usually Lingala, you okay. know. And it was very important for me to write a very good, very, very good song in Lingala. I don't to do like, you know, a rubbish thing. Yeah. And uh, I used to listen to Lokwa Kanza, you know, it's, because it's the it, best. Yeah, it inspired me so much. And I think the first song was um, Zonga, mm -hmm. uh, and it was Zonga, Zonga. I don't remember more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll check that out. Yeah, Actually, I don't know that song, but uh, okay. <laughs> Let's talk about your first trip alone, abroad. Ah, abroad alone. It was when I came in France. 
okay. for the first time. Well, oh, how old were you? 14. Yeah. And my dad sent me to France to, do, to study. Okay. And I came alone with my uh, luggage. Yeah. yeah. It was my first, first trip. And was, how was that? Scary because I I leave my parents, I leave my brother, sister to mm -hmm. come in France alone to, to go to the to school and it was a big big trip for me and I cry many many months after that because wow. I was alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, okay. So what about the first time you felt like uh, a celebrity? In the street. In the street. Yes. Oh, it was funny because um, I met a guy. Uh -huh. He came to me and he said, oh, um, "You, you are Gesangi," and I was like, you know, I stopped like that and I, I thought that he was joking or he, <laughs> you know, he laughed to me or something like that. I was, I said, no, he's not me. <laughs> was that in Paris? Yeah, it was in Paris. And I didn't. I, I, it was like a nightmare or something like that. Yeah. I didn't realize it really. It was serious. Yeah, it was serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I said, no, he's not me. Did he just walk off or did he ask you more? No, no, he walk off. And, really? I, and after that, I said, oh my god, you crazy? Why you say that? <laughs> yeah, why? Were you feeling shy? You, no, you were not sure. It, I was like, it, I, was, I didn't realize it was like, oh, how he know me, you know? I was like, how oh, he know? <laughs> now she has done that a few times. Like, you know when you're not ready, prepared to yeah, meet anyone? Yeah. Um, actually had this experience in the bus and um, are going to see my, my, my team. And there's this lady that came to me and she was like, are you Tina Labondi? Yeah. And I had this moment, I was like, no. <laughs> And she looked at me, she said, yeah. Yeah, you are. And she said, I'm following you on Instagram, so oh I know. Oh my God. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, I just sat there quiet. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, okay, I have another, I have three more questions for you. Yeah. So the first time you went back to Congo, do you remember? I, the, the last time I was in Congo, it was um, when I, I, I had uh, 11. Yeah. And till... Today, I never go back to Congo. Oh, wow. Yeah. And uh, because of many things, maybe it's not, I don't have time to explain here, but I want to send a message uh, to every people in Congo. I, I'm going to be very, very, very happy to go back in Congo and sing and share with people, you know. So I hope that this mission is going to be. Come exactly, yeah. it will it will come very yeah. very soon. Yeah. Was it? Um, you you're from Brazzaville, right? No, so I'm so. I'm you're from, from Kinshasa. Kinshasa. Ah, yeah. Okay. yeah. You will love it. Yeah. <laughs> I it's, know, uh, I know. It's it's just the atmosphere, is just you know, it's yeah. something else. Obviously, it's, it's changed a lot. Yeah. In the past 20 years, but mm -hmm. it's still our Congo. Yeah, I know that. Um, I'm curious about the first thing yeah. your family said to you when they heard your music? Oh my god. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Okay. So where was it? <laughs> they just listened to my music and they say, oh, what is this uh, Sakamade soup? <laughs> I was like, oh no my way. god. You know, you know what, what it means, Sakamade yeah, soup? Yeah, like a, When a you put everything, of, yeah, exactly, you know, in the, in the same yenis, you know, you know? <laughs> I said, they don't, they don't understand my music because they 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 throw that I put many things inside, and uh, you know they don't recognize you know because sometimes um, Congolese people mm -hmm. sorry for that they like Congolese music you know yeah. be in this way and me I want to experiment you know to of course yeah, to bring to be creative yeah to be your... creative and to mix yeah. And, but now it's more they more they are more open about that. But the first time it was like, oh my god, what is Sakamade so thing? What are they doing? <laughs> like a melting pot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the last question, yeah. I'm going to step aside because uh, I would like you to show us your signature dance move. Oh my god. So god. what is your speciality? I'm gonna so <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, on this way, I want you to do one step. I'm going to do a second one. Come here. <laughs> okay, go ahead. You start. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you start. 
You remind me, you have to start. To start. <laughs> okay, so let's say if I was in, um, if I wanted to kind of like be demure or something, you know, whatever, I think I would just do something like, you know, just follow the bits, yeah, but slowly. <laughs> you see? Oh, so that's your move. <laughs> We got you. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Oh, it was a pleasure. You. I mean, yeah. this is the first time actually that we meet in person. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. It's uh, a I mean, pleasure. yeah. Thank but you. thank you so much for doing this interview with us, oh, and I really you. hope that people will um, be able to discover your music yeah. a little bit more, and uh, and also to follow what you're doing because mm -hmm. you have a lot of projects coming up. Yeah. And uh, and of course, you guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to follow SMB Magazine and. Bye. I'm not gonna say because okay. <laughs> you're gonna put the Lego. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. <laughs> you cut that up. What? Na yebi makasi e kei.